is Rosemary. Oops. Now, great. So my name is Rosemary, this is Pamela, and we're going to do a little demonstration here, make a nice big mess, to show you how to make these fabulous adaptogenic balls. And uh, this is one of, one of my favorite recipes um, because it's so adaptive. It's a basic recipe, and then you can choose to add different herbs. So, so instance, if you wanted to make a formula, we're gonna be making an adaptogenic formula, and we're gonna actually add some uh, very stimulating herbs, so it's also gonna be very energizing. But you could also make, use this formula to make a formula for your brain or for all kinds of fun things. You could make it for a date night. So the basic recipe is I start with um, equal amounts of, of nut butter um, and a little bit of honey. And the nut butters, can, you can use different butters. You can use peanut butter. It's fine. For some people, that's their favorite because it's readily available. It's inexpensive. And they love the taste of it. But I usually like to mix um, tahini. Sesame butter is really great because it's so easy to digest and it's high in calcium. And I love the flavor. I'm Armenian, so it's uh, really, oops, really good. Uh-oh, I'm gonna let you figure out how to get that out. Pamela, my handy. And then I also like to use almond butter. And almond butter because um, it's so nourishing. It's considered like the queen of the nuts. It's high in protein. It's fairly easy to digest. So this is another really good er uh, nut butter. And then, as I said, you can add other nut butters. We also have some really good cashew butter, which makes it really soothing and really delicious. How much of is this? it coming out? Yeah. It's coming. And then I add honey. And the honey, the amount of honey that you add, um, some people like to add half honey and half nut butters, but I find that it makes it too sweet. So I usually add about a half the amount of honey to it. I want it to taste fairly sweet because the idea with this nut butter candy base is that it's going to be what, what kind of covers up the flavors of some quite bitter herbs. So um, I will usually add about um, a half the amount of honey, maybe a little bit more, depending on the herbs we're gonna use. Is that coming out okay? It's not coming out. So here's little. what, I've got an idea. Okay, We're gonna job. use this to come out with it. Yeah. I had a really neat little Thank tool you. called the spoodle. That won't work because it's not quite strong enough. A little spurtle, but I left it when I was teaching. So we'll just throw this in. And then we're gonna mix, do the mixing by just wiping this off. So that's great. Okay, yeah, we might and this is actually this. just a really good lesson on improvising and using what you have available. Okay, so that. there, Please. can you do that? Great. Yes, yeah. And then we're gonna add about half the part of honey. And if you're really smart, you'll have a measuring spoon, a measuring cup here. But I've done this so long, I can kind of just guess about how much honey it's gonna take. Um, and then what you do is you'll stir this together and you make a nice creamy honey nut butter and then you taste it. And when it's just a little sweeter than you want it to be, you're ready for step two. So this is step one in making our, our butter balls. It's great, you're making so a handmade spurtle. Yeah. yeah, so there you go. And you're gonna get it all mixed up really well. And then we're gonna use these wonderful herbs. And um, again, because our formula is gonna be an adaptogenic formula that also has a lot of zoom in and a lot of energy, we're gonna use two herbs that are very stimulating, guarana and cola, which I'll talk about in a minute. But the basic foundation for this formula is that it's a tonic or an adaptogen. They're herbs that actually rejuvenate and rebuild the system. Like, oh yeah, that's a really good, good, good question. So the question is, what, do, what does adaptogenic mean? It means exactly what it says. It, it says it helps your body adapt to modern day stresses. And there's a whole group of herbs that are actually some of our most important herbs that are considered adaptogens. And so, um, so anyway, the herbs that we're gonna use as adaptogens are going to be rhodiola, which is a, rhodiola is an herb that it grows in very harsh environments, really, really super cold environments. And it's, um, and it's it helps to restore energy and helps to build stamina. It's one of my favorite herbs, actually. I use this herb a lot, and this is one of the ways that I use it. I also take it as tincture. These are really nice herbs that I got from my good friend's Mountain Rose, and so we're gonna add a little bit of the, um, the rhodiola to it. Now, if you were going to um, be making this at home and you wanted to know the exact amount, what I usually say um, in each one of these balls, there should be about a half to a quarter teaspoon, a quarter to a half a teaspoon per person. So um, when you're mixing them, you want to be thinking of that. Usually I have people mix the herbs first and then add them to the nut butters. But because I've done this for so long, I can kind of guess and know how much to do. So we're gonna add a little bit of the 
uh, of the rhodiola. And then we're gonna add a little bit of the ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is another adaptogen herb. It's an incredibly important herb in East Indian or um, Ayurvedic medicine. It's one of their primary tonic herbs. It's used for not only creating energy, but also relaxing the system. And it also helps to build stamina and energy. So we're gonna add a little bit of the, of the um, we'd say like a couple tablespoons. That might give you a good idea for how much to add in there to about, a, we have about two cups of nut butter and honey. So there you go. And it starts to get really thick, which you want it to. One of the things that people are always shocked about when I'm making these balls is the, how much herb we use. So the, the, the peanut butter and the honey are basically the delivery system. It's not about the peanut butter and the honey, it's about the herb. So we actually are adding a lot of herbs to the formula. It'll start to get really thick and then what I usually do is I put these on not so much because I'm worried about your hands getting yep. dirty, but it keeps your hands clean. And then the other adaptogen herb we're gonna put in here, we have two more to add, is Eleutherococcus, or what I call Siberian ginseng. That's the old name. It's actually a member of the ginseng family, um, a distant relative, but it's not a single taproot. It actually grows as a large shrub. And it's the, the herb that um, the term adaptogen was actually created for. There were tons of studies done in Russia because that's the primary place where um, Siberian ginseng or Eleutherococcus grows. And it has really almost the same effects as our Asian ginseng or our American ginseng, but it's very plentiful and it's not nearly as expensive. So it's actually the herb that I use um, a lot in place of the Asian or American ginseng. Oh, that's beautiful. So again, we're gonna add a couple tablespoons of the Siberian ginseng to this. And you can see it's a lot of herbs. That's good. And, um, yeah, I think that's good. I think we have a nice mixture. So now you could finish now. Um, we could say that we've done our herbal formula and then we would do step three, which is to add the thickeners and the things that really taste good. So usually I add a little bit of nuts to it. I add cocoa powder to help thicken it. You can add chocolate chips and you can add uh, coconut. Let's add a little coconut to it. At home, when I'm making these at home and I have a little more time, I usually would toast my coconut. I love the taste of a, of a nice toasted coconut. It just kind of makes the whole thing taste rich. Always make sure that you use unsweetened coconut because the sweetened stuff has some pretty nasty things in it. So we'll add that. And you can add a little bit of, a little bit of um, coconut to it. And we could call these balls, we could finish these up by adding cocoa powder and making it really thick. And we would call them adaptogenic balls. And they'd be herbs, they would be balls that you would take every day, a couple of them, to help increase and build energy. But because we wanna make these for the end of the show and we wanna have an extra bit of energy, we're gonna add the stimulating herbs. Um, these herbs are not herbs that I recommend using every day, you know, because they do have a lot of caffeine in them. In fact, guarana has more caffeine than coffee. So we're gonna add just a couple tablespoons. Guarana is especially really good for people who, for students who are trying to study or if you have a long drive or you're gonna party all night. It gives you a lot of energy, but it's not an herb that I would recommend using all the time. And kola is the other nut, uh, it's the other um, herb also. And it comes from the kola nut, which is from South Africa. Both guarana and kola are very sustainably harvested, by the way, they're cultivated. So we know that we're not, which I think is a very important aspect of herbalism, we know we're not depleting the wild when we're using these plants. Kola nut was the basis of Coca-Cola. So it has a, which is one of the reasons that Coca-Cola was so popular and why people became really rather addicted to it is because it had cola and coca in it. We're not gonna put coca in here. So now we have the adaptogenic balls with this extra burst of energy. Um, and now we're gonna do the last step. We've added the goody things. If we had a bag of um, chocolate chip cookies, I'd throw those in, or excuse me, chocolate chips, I'd throw those in too, or carob chips. But now we're gonna make it you're doing such a good job, Pamela. Thank Look you, thank that. you, thank you. So they're pretty thick. So let's yeah, add just a little thick. bit of, of cocoa powder. Okay. You can get all different kinds of cocoa. Again, if I was at home, I'd probably try to find some raw cocoa. This is good cocoa, though. This is natural, unsweetened, 100%, and it's very dark. So this is going to add a really nice flavor. So that's it. You're going to get in there and get that nice and thick. And she's Yum. almost done. It looks like a cookie dough. It does. I think I should taste it yes. and see how good it tastes. Ooh, I think it tastes really good. We did a good job just throwing everything in there. <laughs> I'm usually a little more organized than this, but you know, I really believe in, in improvisational herbalism, and so we're just using what we have here. Candy on the fly. Take a taste and see what you think. Mm. Mm. 
Mm. It's not overly sweet. It has all those herbs in it. Mm. So that's one thing I want to share is that mm. with the amount of herbs in there, it, you'd think it would taste like really bitter or really, mm -mm. Mm -mm. you know, but it actually those the taste like chocolate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little nut butter. Chocolate cookie dough. Yeah. Delicious. Really Delicious. Good. So then the idea is you roll them into, let's see what size ball you have there. We'll make them a little bigger than that. I like okay. to make my balls big. <laughs> there okay, go. Rosemary. Whatever, whatever it is you want. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then the last step would be, um, when we, that's a good size like that, so there's a good dosage. That dosage will have, and then I like to just kind of roll them in a little bit of carob like that or yeah. chocolate. Right. Um, you can also, if you had a little pot of dipping, of like bittersweet dipping chocolate, you could dip them in chocolate. You could also roll them in the coconut, mm. so we'll put them right there. You can okay. roll them in here. Okay. And you could also do them that way, so there we go. We're going to serve this to all the Mother Earth staff here so that they have that extra bit of energy to get through the day. So I first started making these uh, when I was a young herbalist, and I would take my students out on these hikes. And we were all in our 20s, so we should have been able to hike like 10 or 15 miles without any problem. But I would notice like halfway through our hiking trips, my students would be dragging and lagging. And I would, um, I would, I came home one day and I said, I'm going to fix this. And I came home and I developed this formula and it worked unbelievably. So I've been making them for the last, what, 30 years. <laughs> what do you think? Is it good? Those are good. And they look beautiful. Oh, good. You know, you, they look really nice. You can put like a little nut. You can roll them in the nuts. And um, we'll just have fun making your high energy balls and play around with the formula. It's just simple. You can use, as I said, different powdered herbs. Now, can you freeze them? Can these, will these last? What's the longevity well, of Well, because they're a nut butter, you definitely want to keep them cool. You, you can store them in the refrigerator. They have a long shelf life, but you know, you don't want to leave them out in the heat. And you can freeze them, but you don't usually, they usually get eaten before that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, You just don't, so you have a choice of lots of different nut butters. And I hardly ever use peanut butter. I usually use t sesame butter. I use almond butter, cashew butter. I was just mentioning that for some people, um, peanut butter is a really good option because it's readily available and it's inexpensive. And so, and I always say, I don't want herbalism to get snobby and just have it be about, you know, $18 bottles of almond butter or cashew. So you can use what you have, you know, and so for people, you have a huge choice of the nut butters that you use. You know, if I was making aphrodisiac balls, which is another formula and it's really fun, I'd use something like a hazelnut, I'd use the finest bittersweet chocolate, and I'd use my really potent herbs and stick them in there. So you have a big choice of the herbs and, and the honey that you're using as well. When are you making aphrodisiac balls? <laughs> It's pretty simple. So um, the recipe is basically three steps to it. The first step is mixing your, your nut butter base, which is about one part of nut butters. You can use a single nut butter. You can use varieties of nut butter to one half part honey. And I would always mention to try to use um, a raw honey so you're getting all the enzymes because you want this to be good for you. You know, this is a good for you candy. So it's making your butter base. It's mixing your herbal powders. and the examples that we're using here is an adaptogenic formula that has an extra zoom in it. But really, you can take this basic recipe and use it for heart healthy balls, for brain balls, for you know aphrodisiac balls, really. It's just endless, the kinds of balls you can make with it. So you mix your powder up. You want to figure out the dosage is usually one quarter to one half teaspoon. You can see how exacting you could be. You have to be. I'm just lo joking there. But it is good to have some idea. I didn't really have to measure because I've done this so much. I can guess, and it, you can see how it turned out so perfectly. That's because of Pamela. Mm. And then after you add your, your powders and you stir those in, then you're going to add the goodies. And the goodies can be, again, they can be chocolate chips or carob chips if you're a real purist. They can be coconut. It can be nuts. It can be um, lychee berries, you know, anything like that, your lychee berries. Um, and then you want to thicken it with your cocoa powder. And then you roll them, and you can roll them in. You know, I like to give them a little finish by putting in the cocoa powder again. Um, and then Pamela asked, how long do they last? They really have a good shelf life, so long as you store them in a cool place. They are a nut butter, and nut butters do go rancid if they're left in the heat. So, what delicious, do you think? Delicious, delicious, delicious. Thank you. They're so yum. <laughs> mm. Great.
So, you know, you have to imagine these are on a pretty little platter. You put a few little roses on there. You bring them out. Some of them are dipped in bittersweet chocolate. They're really nice. Mm. So thank you so much.